All right, guys, before I shut down for the night, I had to do this real quick. Um, let's have a little Seiko monster party real quick. Um, my buddy Jeff H sent over a couple of his monsters for me to video, and then I'm going to sell them for him through the channel. So, But those will be in future videos. Um, but real quick, obviously, so we have five of them here. Uh, three of these are mine. Of course, we have my um, number one watch, my orange monster. This is a circa 2014-ish late model pre-X. Um, I mean, you guys have seen this before if you watch the channel. So, and then of course we have my newest acquisition for the monster. We have the SBDC067. Now this guy is still currently available. Um, easiest way to do it is probably just pop over on eBay, type in the SBDC067, and you'll have your pick of seller, and you're gonna pay around $500. Or you can go to like some of the uh, Japanese websites, the uh, shopping in Japan I've used. Um, I forget the one that Bruce uses, that Kenta. Um, that's a really good one too. Um, those are all really good sources to get them from. So if you're looking for a Seiko Monster, this is a really nice one to get, this new blue coral one, this SBDC067. You're going to pay around $500. Um, if we want to back up real quick about the my orange monster, the SRP309s, and now this is the K, this is not the uh, J made in Japan one, which personally i've had better luck with the non made in japan the uh, back in the srp 309 days but anyway uh no matter what the price on these guys are i think if you find a really good one for around five hundred dollars you are doing well i think they sell or are at least listed for higher prices uh, but you hopefully should be able to find one around $500. And there's going to be some changes with the uh, Seiko Monster market coming up. So I'm not saying go out, rush, and buy one or anything like that. Because I don't, I don't think that's really necessary. I think there's some new models coming out. So I think if you're patient, you can definitely find something that's going to work for you. But if you look at the trends, if you want a Seiko Monster, you're going to pay $500. That's just the way it is. This is the Jade model. This is the when they were doing the weird part numbers, the SZ, SC005. You have like an emerald type green color to it, and you have the black uh, date wheel. Of course, you, it's a third gen, so you don't have the teeth for the indices, and you have the magnifier. So um, these are, you know, $500. Uh, these are still kind of a hot commodity. Uh, now, if we want to go back a little bit, um, the earlier third gen releases, of course, they did the SBDC 2.3, which was an orange one. Those are crazy difficult to get. It seems like the prices are trending anywhere from $750 to $1,000. I'd love to get one, but I'm just not going to pay that much. Just like you guys have your limits and you're, you know, a lot of you are saying that you are not willing to pay $500 for a monster. I'm 100% willing to pay $500 for a monster. I am not willing to pay... 750 to 1000 for a monster just not going to happen but this is the szsc003 this is a really dark blue and it may be hard to tell because it almost looks black in most light but you can see it's it's a really dark navy blue and of course you have the black date wheel you have the non tooth indice third gen model with the date magnifier this is one of jeff's watches and he has it on an aftermarket bracelet here so I'll do wrist shots with these two because we're having a monster party, guys. And probably the coolest one that um, Jeff sent over is another SRP309. This is not the Made in Japan one, so it's, it's very similar to mine. But there is a major difference here. Um, I will say this thing is in near-perfect condition. It has excellent bezel action. I have not thrown it on the time graph or anything like that yet, but it's pre-Prospects X, so you know it's going to be around 2014 for the year, but I'm going to show you here, and I've had one of these in the past. This is a super cool model. It's super rare. Um, it's hard to kind of set the um, pricing on these because a lot of, I think this is going to be more of a, so if you look at that day wheel, this is a Roman model. So the day wheel is a Roman 
um, model or uh, labeling. So if we, oh, that's the date. So if we look at the day wheels and then Sunday you have the red square. So this is kind of a special model. If I can work a deal with Jeff, I think I'm going to try to buy this off him. But the pricing, I, I got to be fair with them. Um, and I want to be fair with me because, you know, like the SRP 309s, you know, they're going to be trending around $500 on eBay. So if you're selling it off eBay, of course, you're going to be selling for a little bit less. Um, but like I said, this is kind of a special model because it has the Roman wheel and it has the, you know, the red square for the Sunday. So a collector, uh, especially a monster collector like myself, um, this excites me. This model, like I, I really want to add this, but I want to make sure... Jeff gets a, a good sale price, and, and of course, I, I want to pay as little as I would need to. So, I've been wearing this blue coral one a lot. It just, uh, that blue is just stunning. And the, the little bit of yellow accents are awesome. Um, you know, if you're looking at the dark navy blue one, this one's not super difficult to get. It's just, I don't think, especially with some of the newer models, it's not as sought after, but it definitely plays black in most lights. Um, for the most part, you, the wearer, are going to be the only one that knows that it's actually like a navy blue. Most people aren't going to really see that, but it definitely is blue. So if you like dark blue, this is your watch. This is your model right here, the 003, and you can get these for around $500. You know, if you if you're patient and you watch the um, some of the Facebook groups or the forums or something like that, you might be able to swoop one up for 350. But that's the exception. That's not the norm. So you can see here the jade. Again, the jade plays darker in most lights, but um, definitely when you catch this thing in the light, it is easily recognized as a you know a nice emerald blue or a green. So. I mean, it's, it was labeled as the Jade Monster, but call it whatever the heck you want. So, then of course, you got this guy here. This thing is, and then this, a lot of people will put these bracelets on the monsters because a lot of people don't like the, the way the uh, dive extension on the monster bracelet kind of wears. Um, I, I like it. I'm fine with it. I'm used to it sort of thing, but I can understand why some people will switch over to a different style bracelet. So, and this is definitely one of the bracelets of choices that people use right here. This is like a, I think a super engineer two or something. It's not the, they have another engineer one that's more rounded over and smoother on the links. I actually prefer that one over this one, but this one definitely reflects light really good and kind of works with the monster uh, sharp edges and everything. It, it blends well with it. So anyway, guys, that's a quick Saturday Night Monster Party. Thanks for watching. Uh, I actually have, I think, some more monsters coming in that are probably going to go on the chopping block for uh, viewers that are sending them, <coughs> excuse me, or that are sending them in. So, of course, if I have the funds, I will try to obtain them. <coughs> but many of them I'm going to end up throwing up on the channel for sale. So thanks for watching. Uh, thanks, Jeff, for sending in your two monsters. And I will see you guys soon on the next video. Are you guys kidding me? I almost signed off without giving you the most epic thing about the monster. Of course, we got to do a loom shot. You have both SRPs right here. You can see the tooth indices. And then... Um, in the dark, I guess it doesn't really matter which color the dial is. They all look the same. There you go, guys. Thanks for watching.